The family of a local college student gunned down two weeks ago took their personal plea to the streets today. Family, friends, even strangers of Joe Bowes returned to the neighborhood where he died in search of answers. Ten on your side's Joe Fisher has the story. Let's move up to 36th Street. It's a group effort hitting one house. It's, it's excruciating. My heart has been ripped out of my chest. And one car at a time. If you hear anything, please call us. It's been two weeks to the day. Halloween. 20 year old Joseph Bose was visiting friends, just leaving a party when he was shot and killed. We're going from street to street all around 35th and Killam, which is a street name I don't even like to say out loud. It's the intersection where police say Kim Bose's son took his final breaths. It was a big group. We know somebody knows something. That's why she and about 50 others blanketed the neighborhood Saturday, connecting with those closest to the shooting scene. So far, we haven't gotten many leads. We're counting on the fact that a week later, people are going to get relaxed and start talking. Danielle Wynn is one of those strangers who felt it in her heart to help out. If you hear anything, please let us know. This is the flyer they want everyone to see. The smiling face of the Hampton University journalism student that family says had a bright future and the reward now at $10,000 for any information that leads to an arrest. We have a killer that's still out there on the street, so we want to bring him to justice. And as they wait for that justice, Joe Bose's parents hope their son's death paired with their persistence will create change in neighborhoods near and far. We've got to bring peace back to our neighborhoods. We've got to fight for this as a community, as a people. A mother and father with broken hearts. We cannot let the evil win. Hearts, they say, can only be healed with helpful information about who killed their son and why they did it. In Norfolk, I'm Joe Fisher. Ten on your side. In the two weeks since that shooting, police have not released any suspects or persons of interest. If you have any tips or leads, call the crime line. And as always, you can remain anonymous.